The tsunami that devastated Japan on March 11, 2011 was the largest ever to strike a modern developed coastline, but it probably won't be the last. The next Great Pacific Tsunami may well hail from Alaska, and if it's anything like the great swells of seawater that the region has kicked up in the past, it could cause death and destruction as far away as Hawaii and California. Scientists now fear that an active fault line running across Alaska could cause tsunamis of the same magnitude as the Japan disaster. Earth Change News investigates. Recent analysis of Alaska's potential to generate a future tsunami, which is highlighted in the May 8th issue of EOS, has turned up a worrisome similarity between the source of the magnitude 9.0 earthquake that generated the tsunami in Japan and a particular segment of a major quake-prone fault running along the seafloor just south of Alaska's Aleutian Islands. The fault known as the Alaskan Aleutian Subduction Zone marks where the edge of the Earth's tectonic plate carrying the Pacific Ocean plunges beneath another plate to the north. Sudden slip between those plates produced the Good Friday Earthquake, also called the Great Alaska Earthquake, of March 27, 1964, which was the most powerful earthquake in US history. The magnitude 9.2 tremor resulted in 145 deaths, many of them hundreds of miles away and 90% of them due to resulting tsunamis. All around the rim of the Pacific Ocean, the edges of the tectonic plates are scraping against each other, but it is the vertical motion that occurs at subduction zones that harbors the great potential for tsunami generating tremors. When one plate slips suddenly past the other, the motion of the seabed displaces the seawater above it. The magnitude 9.0 Japan quake occurred along a plate boundary known as the Toko subduction zone. The resulting tsunami measured as high as 33 feet 10 meters and overwhelmed seawalls and other defenses and caused great destruction. Clearly, Alaska has potential for similarly large earthquakes, but that is not what has scientists on alert. The precise location of the earthquake is even more important than its size when it comes to tsunamis. Even a super strong earthquake won't cause more than a ripple if it happens in shallow water, but a moderate earthquake can generate a serious tsunami if it strikes where the water is deep. In Alaska, scientists have zeroed in one particular section of the Alaska Aleutian subduction zone near the Semden Islands. This locked section of the fault has not raptured since 1788, or perhaps even earlier, and measurements reveal that a strain is accumulating rapidly. And just like the portion of Toko that slipped last year, the severity strain section of Alaska's subduction zone lies beneath 4 to 5 kilometers of water. Investigations into the source of Japan tsunami have given scientists something else to worry about in Alaska. The studies revealed that secondary movement along a deep water branch fault displaced additional seawater amplifying that tsunami. So far no one knows about any deep water spray faults near the Semdeni Islands, but scientists are keen to get a closer look at the region's deep underwater morphology to find out for sure. Do you think a big tsunami is coming soon? I'll let you be the judge. This is Chris with Earth Change News. Thanks for watching.